Resident Evil 5, Chapter 6 1. Biohazard 5. For nextgenwalkthroughs.com. So, on this level, you have to get 40 kills in under 26 minutes to get the S ranking. And a little uh, bit of trivia. Uh, the reason it's S ranking is because now this is just according to what I've been told, <laughs> so I could be completely off base. Apparently, in Japan, uh, in school, the S ranking is the highest, or a grade of S is the highest you can get in school. So yeah. it's S, A, B, C, instead of is there just a D. I don't know. You can't get a D ranking in this game, so <laughs> I don't know. The average is the worst you can do. Yeah. Oh, and you cannot get double S ranking on single player, and you can get double S on the mercenaries mode. Huh. So I don't get it. Yeah, it's kind of fucking weird. Maybe that's why they're so so much better at school than us. Because they have S rankings. They don't have Fs. Uh, what? They don't let their <laughs> they don't let their kids fail. Yeah. So like a B average is actually like <laughs> terrible. A D average. <laughs> So there's four guys that you should snipe from here. Two guys across this top platform, and then two guys kind of off in the fog on the right. Um, now, the most important one is this last one that I'm shooting, and he's going to be really hard to shoot or see on the videos, but if you shoot him, you can skip the entire part where uh, one of the people gets trapped in the cage. And you have to go up. He's the guy that's right that pulls the lever to flip the switch to drop the cage. Okay. And if you shoot him, then uh, yeah, save some time. Save some time and a little bit of hassle. One of these guys coming up here after you kill the dogs is going to have the tentacle face. And there are ways to kill these guys, the tentacle face guys, so that the tentacle doesn't appear. Which is? Um, <laughs> by doing like a neck breaker combo, or I can't remember how Shiva does it, but basically you, uh, if you're Chris, you shoot them in the knee, so then they're like on their knees like that guy was right there. And then you go behind them, and you press X, mm -hmm. and then you snap their neck. Nice. And their tentacles don't come out. Which is a trick that'll be very helpful for uh, uh, my next guide. Professional difficulty with no infinite ammo or no starting weapons. Starting clean. Now, I think this is the first guy in the game that has this weird... Oh, the leg guy never came. There's usually a guy that has like this weird... Instead of the tentacle face, he has like a... I don't even know what to call him, like a clamshell face. And then this, <laughs> this like weird thing on his leg. So yeah, yes. right, right there is where I would have... Uh, oh no, it's up here in a second where... Uh, typically there's this whole scene with when you get ambushed and she gets trapped... But I avoided that by shooting that guy up above. So, anyway, you were saying? Did you ever see pictures of that tree man? Tree man? Who has, like, all that crap growing out of his skin? No, I don't think I've seen that. It's, like, really, really disgusting. Huh. And, uh... <clears throat> anyways, it was that Outback with my dad. Mm-hmm. And, uh... I mentioned how the Bloomin' Onion looked like that guy's, uh... <laughs> <laughs> like, skin. Uh -huh. And he's like, I can't eat this <laughs> I like prevented him from eating anymore. Oh, so then you got the whole blooming onion. Yeah, that worked. Out. That's a good story. Yeah. I'm gonna have to do that next time <laughs> I order a, a blooming onion. And make sure the people have seen that, or at least have the picture like ready to pull up on your phone. Oh, okay. So, oh, what does Michael Scott call the blooming onion? Um, I don't know. Oh, they, an awesome blossom <laughs> awesome. with extra awesome. <laughs> I think that's actually what it's called. An awesome blossom? Depending on what uh, restaurant you're at. Uh -huh. Yeah, I think Chili's, it's the awesome blossom. <laughs> uh, Outback, it's... Yeah. Blooming onion. Yeah, people in Europe have no idea what we're talking about <laughs> because they don't have these 
um, bastardized food chains. Yeah. They have, uh, you know, mom and pop restaurants. And McDonald's. And McDonald's. They do have McDonald's. But they don't have, like, uh, at least from what I've seen, they, it doesn't look like Europe has a lot of sit-down chains. Like, the, you know, like Chili's and Applebee's right. and uh, Outbacks and all that kind of shit. But yeah. Definitely not in the ghetto parts. Ghetto parts? Yeah, that's of the only parts I've been to. Oh. Because we're staying in poor hostels, you know? Yeah. Eating. A dollar menu, the euro menu is not such a good deal. Because <laughs> the euro is uh, pretty strong compared to the, you know, the dollar now. Yep, so I'm skipping all the cutscenes here. They don't make sense anyway, so there's no point to even trying to figure them out. So this is this can be a tough part, simply because there's so many guys with guns now that it, it, it's it's really easy to fuck up, and you can't die too many times without having to restart if you want to get that S ranking. So the best way to do it is just have both people stay up top and kill everybody that you can. Uh, before one of you jumps down and then have one person stay up top and continue to snipe from above but you have to be careful because there's most likely going to be two guys that spawn behind you and try to sneak up on you so you're still using a human yeah uh yes for the rest of the game malone uh, moses malone moses malone uh-huh Calm alone. Calm, <laughs> calm alone, say. <laughs> yeah, for the rest of the game. Yeah, yeah for the rest of the game. Um, yes, so the easiest way to avoid the two guys that sneak up behind you, they, they usually carry the, the shock rods and don't use guns, so just kind of run to the end of this platform, stand by the cover so the guys from below don't shoot you. And then... Uh, Try to shoot the grenades on their chest for a nice little explosion. Watch them disintegrate. Oh, I got a new podcast that uh, I've been listening to oh, that yeah? the Carl Malone thing made me think of. Uh, that Adam Carolla podcast. Yeah, it's a pretty popular one. I yeah. haven't listened to it. It's... It's got its moments. Yeah. He's pretty funny. He he gets like a new celebrity on every show and interviews them. Uh, Adam Carolla was on The Man Show? Yeah. With Jimmy Kimmel? With Jimmy Kimmel, yeah. I'm trying to put a face to that name. Mm. Yeah, he was on Loveline and... I can't think of anything else that I've seen. <laughs> oh, Cranky Anchors, even though that was like a puppet show. Yeah. That was a really funny show, though. Yeah. You've got mail. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I've got mail. Yay! That was a good show. Yeah, it was. So, yeah, just um, keep sniping people from up above. And when it looks like the area's clear, just... Uh, have the guy down below run forward a couple inches until the next wave uh, gets triggered and then keep sniping. And there there won't be any more guys that sneak up behind you after those first two guys. Do, 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 do. I I can't think of anything else to say now. Yeah, well, that happens occasionally. That happens after a lot of uh, dozens of hours of voicing over. Yeah, and we're doing another guide for the same game. Yep. the The next one's more interesting though. It'll have more strategy talks. When you jump down low, there's going to be a, n a number of guys around every corner, and uh, they're not always in the exact same spot like the first time we did this there was a guy at the bottom of that 
first ladder and we jumped on top of him and he almost killed us except when you jump on top of someone they um, you they get hurt by you falling on them so they kind of knocked him on his feet mm. I oh yeah, here's another one of the leg guys. I fucking hate these guys. They were so hard to kill. Like the first time I played through it. They take a ton of ammo too if you don't have a super powerful gun. So, yeah. You were saying? Oh yeah, I was going to say, I, I did listen to that one podcast, uh, Life Well Wasted. Mm, mm -hmm. um, actually, the reason I did is I was listening to... Um, oh, what just, was it? just a quick note about the strategy here. There's a huge ass... Huh, machine gun guy there and just kill him with a rocket launcher or a couple shots from the magnum that'll take him out right away. Anyway, life well wasted. Yeah, I was listening to Listen Up mm -hmm. from GDC and they had Robert Ashley on. Oh, yeah. And he was just great on there. He was so oh, funny. When he was arguing with that... The, the drunk ass guy. Was, it, was he Irish or <laughs> was, Scottish? I can't yeah. remember. He was really funny. He was and yeah. he, he was just like getting that guy's goat. He would yeah. just like, what were they that arguing? That guy was so drunk. Yeah. You could just hear it. Yeah. It was really funny. But so, yeah. And because of that, I listened to A Life Felt oh. Wasted, and it's pretty good. Yeah, it is. It's very different from the typical gaming discussion. Mm -hmm. So, this is the rocket launcher room, and there's going to be three or four guys with rocket launchers. <laughs> Just gotta kill them all quickly. There's gonna be one down below that can be kind of hard to see. And then every once in a while on pro, there will just be um a box filled with spiders, and they'll just open up <laughs> and like 50 spiders will run at you. It kind of caught us off guard the first time we played. Right there, yeah. I I didn't remember them the first time, but they're pretty easy to kill as long as you're expecting them. Yeah, just a random box full of spiders. Yeah, spider box. I think that'd be a fun game. Spider box. <laughs> sounds scary. It sounds like a, uh, an unused pussy with a lot of cobwebs gathering dust. It reminds me of uh, in Hook when they put the guy in the box and then put all the crabs in there with it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Rufio, 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 Rufio. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 